Hey everyone, so I joined this Minecraft server a while ago called the Nameless SMP, and it's a little chaotic. Let me give you a tour. So this is Treetown. Oh, we got the nether portal there. There are a lot of random buildings that don't really serve much of a purpose. So that's the town center. Um, even though the center of town is honestly more like right here. Um, so the, there's a, like a spider spawner over there. There's just a lot of random buildings. So then over here, just past the fountain, is the Pride Corner. Um, and there are some pretty, uh, pretty interesting buildings here, not gonna lie. And then back here are a lot of the more important buildings. So over here we have a council building, even though there's no council. Uh, there's probably going to be one, um, soon. Uh, and then... All the way over there, you can see the courthouse. Get out of here. So and over here, I don't know what this is over here, but... Uh, there's some pretty cool town developments over this way. We got a laundromat that basically, um... Just sells laundry detergent. Which is just bottles of enchanting. Um, and then we have a TV store. So we do, so this is pretty much entirely vanilla Minecraft, but we do have a couple plugins, but it doesn't really change the game that much. And one of them is that a couple animals will drop heads. Um, and that includes people. And someone who has a TV as their head decided to sell TVs. So I myself have one. So then up here we have a gem shop. And that's another one. In, in rare places like uh, temples and mine shafts, you can find random little gems. And then over here we have a pet shop. And here we can see we have another few things that include having armor stands. And I don't know if the armor stands are part of this one, but... You can use, like, a certain book to make invisible item frames. Like, once again, it's one of those things where it doesn't really change the game that much. More so just makes different design ideas possible. So Treetown is currently a big part of the lore streams, which do exist. They just barely ever happen because not many people here really have the motivation to do it, I guess. Because... There is a terrorist organization called the SSO that, um, that made this. Uh, so. They're basically an anti-tyranny group that has just kind of been terrorizing Treetown in the lore. So yeah, not many people really do lore, but I am starting to kind of come up with ideas, and I'm probably going to try to put them into action. Our next destination is a small wintry town called Nyx. So this is Nyx. Uh, as you can see, it's not exactly it's not exactly in the best condition right now. Um, and the reason for that is because there is another state called South Nyx, which basically doesn't exist, but they are waging a, kind of a joke war against us. Uh, and kind of built this big wall. Um, it's literally two people. Whereas Nyx is like five people, I think. And it's not even south of Nyx. It's literally northwest of Nyx. Which just confuses me even further. So then over there, out east... I built a mystery shack from Gravity Falls. I have yet to really put very much inside of it. Now, Nyx is part of Nobis, which is a larger kingdom, even though there's literally only one other place that's part of Nobis, which is basically the sort of main hub of Nyx, and that's where we're going to now. So like I said, it's mostly vanilla and Minecraft, but they do have a couple command blocks just for random things such as transporting long distances like this. So this is this is the main section that Nyx is branched off of. It's built in a mountain. It honestly has more of a large base vibe than a kingdom hub vibe. But 
I'm gonna try to use it a lot in the lore, so... So the next stop is the lagoon. And this is my lagoon. I made this almost, like, fully artificially by, like, placing blocks and then having, like, sand above it. I even got a conduit in here. Uh, I got a water slide over there. Uh, I got, like, a little... little tiki swim-up bar with some alcohol. So that's about it for the tour. Uh, I'm going to be arranging some lore streams soon, so make sure to follow my Twitch channel and hit the bell so you can stay tuned with the Nameless SMP lore. And I'll see you next time.